Good morning, all. Today I'm going to show you the Recovery Devotional Bible. I highly recommend this for anyone that's involved with church work or just to have friends. This is a great Bible that gives you some insight, and even for yourself, there's insight into different things. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it, and especially in the times that we live. We're living in some really hard times, and I think this would be a great Bible for everyone. It's like a, I would suggest a slow read with this one. Um, there's some heavy topics in it, and so this way you can kind of like meditate on different things. And, you know, kind of like have other Bibles that you read and just read this one on the side. You know, or as, better yet, as the Lord leads, right? So this is the Recover Devotional Bible, New International Version, purchased off of eBay. I got to send a lot of Bibles. So I have my traveling prayer Bible that I write in the front. I didn't put my letter in yet. You can look at my other videos to see about that. There's some damage, water damage of some sort. Acknowledgements, introduction to the recovery devotional Bible. This is like a 12-step program. The 12 step by step, step one, step two, and uh, the spiritual roots of the 12 steps. Working together, the Bible in 12 steps, the recovery family, a preface, the Old Testament, and let's see, I did want to point out a scripture for you. God saw all that he had made and it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning the sixth day. So when God made you, he made you very good. And so God didn't make junk. So you and God together in your relationship together, to, to, you know, he'll help you to find your place and what he has called you to do in his kingdom. Okay, so there you've got that. And there's like little things here. And this talks about what I just said about God made us good. And uh, let's see, I think I was reading this article on healthy shame and toxic shame, which let me bring this into um, light too, that um, you've got to be, uh, how do I put this? The devil likes to bring condemnation. God brings conviction. Like, if you're in a season that you always feel like you're worthless, you're bad, you know, things like that, that's something you need to work out with prayer and uh, discover that God loves you. It's just like your children. You might say, hey, you know, you shouldn't pick your nose, but it doesn't mean you don't love them or don't care for them. You're just trying to do what's best for them. And so your cor correction is different than, oh, you're worthless because you pick your nose. That's not true. They just, it's a bad habit and they just need to stop. So <laughs> that's shame if it helps you. <laughs> and there's little meditations. And this has like a lot of nice little things in it. So you can see there's little articles and things. I have like a little pop-up I put in here. I just put like a piece of tape on this side, piece of tape on that side. I'm just starting to decorate this Bible. All my Bibles are given away. Yeah, you know, I want to read them and keep them moving. <laughs> you can see different things in here, that articles that could help you. I think I got something. Oh my, got my little clip in here. Weights and measures, acknowledgement index. Reading 
game plans, an overview of the Bible in six months, through the Bible in a year, recovery resource organizations, where to turn for help in the in the recovery devotional Bible, so like abandoned by God, abandoned by others, afraid, where to turn, where to turn, and subject index, a nice little Bible. Okay, so let's take a second to pray. Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray for anyone that needs recovery that you would move in their life and that you would, if they don't know you, that you would bring them into the knowledge of you. If you're here right now today and you have hurts and, and things that are have happened to you, Lord, I pray that you would heal them and restore them. And uh, just like new, as if it never happened. And I pray these things in the name of Jesus. And if anyone has not accepted Christ, please repeat this prayer after me. Dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. Please forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Help me to live for you and fill me with your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, hope you have a good day. And with that, remember, big or small, you too could be a backyard farm. God bless.